Hi everyone, so welcome back to Codera. In this video, we'll discuss the problem C from the Code Forces round 753, which is rated for division 3. So the problem name is minimum extraction. So the problem name from the problem name, you can see that there's something related to minimums. And what it says is you have been given an array of n integers. If A is the length, if A the array has the length strictly greater than 1, then this guy can apply an operation called minimum extraction to it. Uh, he'll first find out the minimum number in the array and uh, after uh, that what you what he will do is if there are several minimum then he can choose any and after that from that selected minimum he will uh, with that selected uh, minimum he will remove it and the let's suppose that that value is m so he will subtract m from each of the values and he will keep on repeating this process until and unless the length of the array is reduced to one so now you'll say what's the big deal with this question like this question seems to be easy but now the there is some twist with this question so if they will uh, they'll want is formally speaking he wants to make the minimum of the numbers of array to be maximum as possible right so uh, we will come to this so he wants the minimum to be as maximum as possible so he can apply a minimum extraction operation as many times as he want possibly zero and in the end he will not be able to apply it when the length of the array is 1 so you need to find the maximum value of the minimum element of the array that he'll be getting during one of his steps right so from this you can see there are a lot of test cases but let me take this test case let's take this 2 10 1 and 7 so because uh, well while i was working in the code so this was the test case that i also took so let's take this test cases 2 10 1 and 7 right 2, 10, 1 and 7. So what can happen if I have, let's say I have 2, 10, 1 and 7. So 2, then 10, then 1 and then 7. So what can happen with this test case? With this test case, first of all, what is the minimum value? What, what will be the minimum value? So initially my minimum will be 1. So I'll be I'll be removing this one from here and I'll be subtracting other values by 1. So this will be 1, this 10 will become 9, this 7 will become 6, right? what is my new minimum now my new minimum is again one now what will happen i'll see this will be zero right so this will eventually get removed that means because i will remove this element and this will be eight this will be five okay now what will be my next minimum so in this case you can see my minimum now will be what my minimum will be nothing but five okay so you can see that since my minimum is five so what is happening this three will remain now now right so now let us look at the answer for this test case so you can see that this was the first uh, then second third fourth fourth test case so for this fourth test case you can see that the answer comes out to be five right for this fourth test case the answer comes out to be five and the values are in this way right so values are in this way so now you can see that the maximum minimum value possible is five so you will say that what how much time did we take so if you see what we did was we were initially in the brute force approach or in the naive approach what we tried brute force or the naive approach what we were figuring out is we were running from zero to n that is we were running through the whole array and we uh, init initially we have let's suppose that we have the minimum so what we'll do we will each time will calculate the minimum so that will take order of n time and then we will uh, take order of n time again to remove the elements okay so in this way the naive approach or the brute force approach can take order of n square time but can we optimize this can we optimize this so now let us think of something better so how can we optimize this you can pause the video a little bit and now you can think if let's suppose the, the problem statement was not clear to you so now let us uh, let us discuss like how we can improve the time complexity of this approach so order of n square is always uh, very much basic and everyone must have thought about it but the problem comes when you need to do this in one pass right in order of n how can we do this in one pass or in order of n time so you can simply keep a track like let's suppose that initially you have this array right so since you have this array so first of all the first approach that you first way that you need to think for such questions is whenever you have to mix maximize your minimum value so in the in those cases in such a case you will want your array to be sorted why we will discuss upon this now you have this value 
initially what you will take let us take a value as sum as zero and what i will be doing is i'll be subtracting uh, this value from the sum right so i'll subtract this value from the sum so i get a one again now i'll add my sum now what i'll do i'll add this value to my sum so now my sum is one so what will happen i'll from this two from this two i'll subtract one two minus one will give me a one so now i have one again after this what i'll do my sum in my sum what i'll do i'll simply add the current element so now my sum is nothing but two because one plus one will be two the total sum of the array up till now after this you can see that seven minus two will give me a five so i'll in place of this seven now i have five after this you can see that what will be the value for my sum my sum will be seven because uh, one plus one plus five will give me a seven and i have ten right i have ten so ten minus 7 will give me a 3 now i am getting 3 so in place of this i'll write 3 so after this you can see since i have taken the sum variable so it has helped me to reduce the array in disorder and you can see that all these were the minimums that we were getting from the brute force approach as well right so in this way you can see that i have reduced the whole array that was given to me 1 2 5 and 10 uh, i have reduced this into this array and now from this array you can just simply do one thing you can find the maximum from this and that will take order of n time only and order we took an order of n iteration for changing the array and we took another order of n for finding the max, max, uh, maximum value of the array so it means that we took order of n time and we found the mi maximum minimum value right so this is 5 similarly you can try it for all the cases now let me show you my code implementation for this so basically what I had done during the contest was when I saw the question so I just took the input array input then I sorted it after that I stored my initially I'll, I'll store my result as array of zero because that is what, what we usually do initially we uh, we can use a array of zero the first element of the array as the answer then what I'll do I, I will first of all make my sum as zero after that I'll decrease this sum from the ith element of the array after this i'll add on my sum what is my sum so i'm currently adding all the uh, minimums in the array right so what will happen after this uh, the whatever value of ai is left i'll add it to my sum and again in the next iteration of i i'll subtract that particular sum from the ith element of the array and again i'll whatever value is left in the ai i'll add it to my sum after that in the end what i'll do i'll just find the maximum value of array of i uh, maximum a of i or the maximum element that is present in the array it will be my answer so this is how we can do this question is or in order of n time uh, in one pass so this was my solution in case if you had any other approach so you can mention that in the comments make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel we will bring mo more such uh, video editorials of code forces and ad coder in the future do like the video and in case if you had any other approach please uh, share it with us in the comment section i'll be looking into them so thanks a lot everyone and have a great day